Oh yeah, you see that big light right there? Look at that light. Good job. All right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Zach and this is Gloria and today's Monday so we have a new memory verse. Gloria, are you excited? Hi. All right, Gloria, today's memory verse is gonna be from the Gospel of John, chapter eight, verse 12. Then Jesus again spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. Okay, Gloria, you see that big light right there? That light has nothing in comparison to the capital light of the world, which is Jesus Christ. I know, look, there's another big chandelier over there too. Good eye. So those lights have nothing in comparison to the capital L of the world, which is Jesus Christ, the light of the world. And so because Jesus is the light of the world, that's a, basically a reference to, from the Old Testament, how God is going to one day dwell with his people and he will be their light. And it has you know, allusions in the Old Testament when the Israelites were leaving Egypt, in the great exodus when the pillar of light would go before them during the day and we see in the book of jude and we'll talk about this later in on teaching tuesday that jesus was that pillar of light that led them out of egypt and so because jesus is the light of the world when we follow him wholeheartedly and obediently and not half-heartedly we will not walk in darkness because he is the light of life and he will give us the light of light and glory the great thing is that in matthew 5 in the Sermon on the Mount, in verses 14 to 16, Jesus says that we are the light of the world, that true believers of Jesus, true disciples of Christ, are the light of the world, and they are like a city on a hill. And he talks about how a candle illuminates a room when it's lit, just like the chandelier here is illuminating this room, as well as the, you know, the ambient light from the sun. But ultimately, when a light is in the room, it illuminates it, and the darkness is fleed, and it goes away. And then he talks about how, as disciples of Christ, we are to be a light to others so that our good deeds shine forth to others and bring honor and glory to God so that they can, so that men can praise God and to to honor him and to see him for who he is because of what we are doing because of the work that God is doing in us. And the beauty of this, Gloria, is that when Jesus changes our hearts, he gives us a heart transplant, he shines forth the light of who he is and his gospel in the hearts of deadness, in the hearts of darkness, and they are turned to light. He gives them a heart of flesh instead of a heart of stone. And as a result, they are their eyes are opened to seeing the light of the glory of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And because of that, they have new desires to follow Jesus and desires to follow him wholeheartedly, just like Jesus talks about in this verse. He who follows me will not walk in the darkness, but will have the light of life. And so because of that, when we follow Jesus, we are we have the light of life and we won't walk in darkness anymore because we desire to follow Christ. Even though we will continue to be sinful in this life until our bodies are glorified one day in heaven, we will still desire wholeheartedly to follow Jesus because of the change that he's done in our hearts. So, so that's what that means, Gloria. And Gloria, did you know that you are such a little light to, to mommy and daddy? That children are such a blessing from the Lord and they bring joy and love and light. And so that's why we're so thankful for that, that God has blessed you with us so that we could, oh, well, thank you, <laughs> so that we could, you know, experience your, the experience you for who you are and what he's created you to be because you're fearfully and wonderfully made. All right, if you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. But if you love the video, be sure to subscribe to the channel. This is the SDG by ZAC, <laughs> Soli Deo Gloria, to God alone be the glory with Memory Verse Monday with Gloria. We wish you providential blessings. Take care. Catch you next time. Gloria, can I have a hug? Oh, thank you. Thank you. Where's your nose? Where's your tummy? Where are your fingers? Where are your fingers? Good job. Where's your hand? Yeah, you have five fingers right there, don't you? Where's your, where's your eye? Okay. You gonna walk around now? Good job. We're not going to go down there because that's too far down. Good job. You going to walk down the stairs? Okay. Good job. We're learning how to walk down the stairs all by ourselves. Good job, Gloria. Okay. Good job. You like walking around? All right. Job. You gonna push the cart? Okay. You gonna push the stroller? Go for it. Good job. Okay. 
You wanna go up there? We can. No, just kidding, we can't go. It's locked. Sorry. I'm gonna get you! 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 You wanna sit there? You wanna sit there? Okay. Okay, you're sitting there. Good job. What do you think? Do you like it? Yeah. Okay.